What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Form Check Friday, everybody's favorite technique critique series on YouTube. And what we do here is we're going to take viewer submitted videos, we're going to pop them up on this screen behind me. And we're going to give critiques about how these lifters could be more efficient, um, some ideas or suggestions in terms of ways they can modify their technique to try to be better lifters and hopefully make a little bit more progress in their power lifting. Now, <clears throat> if you're interested in submitting to be featured on Form Check Friday, go ahead and send an email to formcheckfriday at gmail.com. We still do get a lot of emails to other associated email addresses and those emails just get deleted. Like we don't we don't draw from those pools at all. So if you don't submit to formcheckfriday at gmail.com, we will not get your email. So please, if you want to be featured, send your emails there. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with Roy. Now, Roy was there in our last video. We actually left off with Roy. And let's pop up Roy's video here real quick. All right, so Roy's doing some squatting. And Roy from Australia, right on. Uh, so he says two squats from the same session, heavy tripled followed by a new one RM. He says he believes he squats mid bar, sits bar sits in the shelf, uh, tried placing it lower and can't achieve the same level upper back tightness. So this I'm guessing is the single rep. So I think the one thing I would do is limit how much we're kind of falling forward with the knees in the bottom. So you can see we start coming down, we're sitting back, and I think Roy's trying to stay very upright. What I would do is let that chest come down a little bit, push those hips back, and try to stop the knees around there. Instead, what's happening is we can see those knees pop much further forward, and then as we come back up, the knees have this sort of forwards, then backwards movement, and the hips come up behind him. That puts him in a little bit of what we call a squat morning position. Now let's take a look at the other video that Roy sent in here and see if he's got the same thing going on. So again, we're starting to push back, but we're also staying just super, super upright. So try to let that chest down a little bit, let yourself tilt into the bottom. And uh, I think we'll minimize that popping forward and then that hip shooting up in the bottom. The shelf looks pretty good, upper back tightness is good, but you're almost like trying to stay behind the bar. Like you're, you're just focusing on staying too upright. Let yourself tilt a little bit more. Rep work doesn't look that bad, but you can really see it come out on that new 1RM. So that would be the biggest thing that I would work on for you. Um, next up, we have Saj, Sajan. Sajan. I'm terrible with pronunciation sometimes, I apologize. Um, now he was wondering if we could check his bench press form. Last video is five by five at 225. Current max is 295 and just wondering if he had any tips to help him break 315. Mostly trains touch and go as I don't compete and don't really have plans to in the future. Really appreciate the help. Looking forward to hear back, hearing back from you. So despite whether you're touch and go or whether you're pausing, I would like to see more control on the chest. Okay, and also some semblance of a setup. Right here when you go to unrack, those shoulders are coming right out of position. Like we're very protracted in the shoulder. And what I mean by that, we'll see if you can see this on the camera, but protracted means the shoulder blade is moving forward like this, retracted is back this way. What we wanna see on the bench is we wanna see retraction and depression. So we're pulling the shoulder blade back and then moving it down the back. And you can see here, as you unrack the bar and go to press, the shoulders are about as far forward as they can go. So we need to create way more tightness in the upper back here. The next thing we wanna do is control that bar on the chest so we have consistency in the reps. We've got some reps coming straight up, some reps going back through a decent bar path, but not a lot of consistency because we're just hitting the chest. There's like a bouncing going on there. So what I would try to do is control that touch so there's a lot more tightness where that bar contacts your, your chest. All right, next up is Daniel or Dragon Wu. <clears throat> Daniel's email came from Dragon Wu and Dylan. Oh, he changed the file name. It was Dragon Wu. Anyways, um, Daniel's from Taiwan. He's always been a big fan of the channel. He says he power lifts as a hobby and wants to bring his strength to the next level. Deadlift has always been his concern. Whenever he watches his video, he feels that his low back positioning is wrong. 
He found he was strong at this position, but still feels my low back firing a lot on the last few reps. Can you help me point out if there's any flaws or any drills or things that he can improve? All right, so let's start this video over. <clears throat> So I think the biggest thing is, is the start position. You're very knees forward. Now in this start position, if you were to bring your, your knees back a little bit, so your shins are a little bit more vertical, that's gonna bring your hip to a bit of a higher height and allow you usually to get that last little bit of extension. Whereas we're on kind of in flexion right now, we can probably get that last little bit of extension by bringing everything back this way. The other thing I would say is maybe try sumo deadlifting. You might find that you're just kind of a bit more of a natural with sumo deadlifting. Um, but you can see, like if we watch how you set the bar down, you're very like very much squatting it, very much letting the knees go forward and the bar is riding down and out. What we should be doing is we should be back on the heels more. We should be back in the knees more. We should be back in the hips more. Just get everything back a little bit more. Doesn't have to be super drastic but just get everything back a little bit more. And I think you'll be able to find a much better position and uh, potentially be a lot stronger there. All right. Our next one is from Jared. And Jared's doing some squats. So he says he recently just started squatting, three weeks now, because he's curious to see if it makes him a stronger snowboarder. Well, I've, I've trained snowboarders before and I can say, um, to a pretty definitive extent that getting stronger will probably make you a better snowboarder. Um, he said it feels like he has, he has to keep his torso leaning forward and elbows pretty high behind him to avoid the feeling of the bar sliding down his back. He's curious to hear our thoughts on form since he's self-taught by watching YouTube videos. All right, um, cool. Uh, he did ask some questions about coaching. So Jared, if you're watching this, shoot me an email at bryce at calgarybarbell.com. Um, Jared lives nearby and was wondering if maybe he can come in and do a session with me um, and some sort of periodic coaching. And that's definitely something we do. So just shoot me an email, buddy, and we can try to set something up in person because I'd love to, love to work with you, man. This looks really good. This looks really good, man. So like we're in a little bit of flexion in this start position. I think if we can learn to tension the hips back, we can create like a decent torso lean here without, you know, feeling like we're rounding over and falling at the top. All told, the squat's really great. We are a little shrugged up in the shoulders. So I think if you can get those shoulder blades together and down, you're gonna create, uh, like the muscle's gonna bunch up a little bit better and then you'll be able to create more of a shelf for that bar to rest on. All told though, these squats look really, really good. I think a couple of like kind of minor tweaks and you'd be just set, absolutely ready to go. So yeah, try to tighten that up in the upper back, pull those shoulder blades down and back behind you, keep those hips back, a little bit of tension on the heels and that squat is just gonna be money. So yeah, if you are interested in coming to see me, Jared, just shoot me an email, buddy. All right, um, next up is Gabriel. He's doing some bench press. All right, so Gabriel is from Copenhagen in Denmark, and he's been lifting seriously for about 10 months now. Um, on and off for five years, but not very seriously. Uh, currently has no plan of competing, but might consider it. Uh, current max bench press is 112.5. He's doing a variation of 531 that he put together himself, uh, upper lower four days a week. Um, so he feels like his bench press has gotten a lot better over the last couple of months, but it's not perfect. He thinks that one problem he might have is keeping his shoulders in position, but he can't tell for sure. Uh, in the video doing 105 kilos, he blacks out after the rep and cramps up in his arms. Do you have any experience with that? I do not. Um, that might just be kind of, you might be overdoing some of the tightness or, or doing the tightness um, incorrectly, like creating tightness in your head instead of maybe through your torso. Um, not, not super experienced with that. Um, <clears throat> thinks he got too, tight in the, got too tight in the wrong places and cut off blood to his brain. Maybe bracing is improper. Um, it might just be that you need to kind of adjust to training more um, seriously, more frequently. Another issue he thinks is that he's not keeping his wrist straight during the press. So 
one thing I see very quickly as I look over here is bar path issues. So first off, in the unrack here, the elbows are, are too tucked. So let those elbows come out, straighten the elbows, let yourself be a little bit flared when you're in your unrack. It's gonna be a tighter, stronger position at lockout. And then as you start descending, go ahead and tuck the elbows in a little bit. Cause when you're on the chest here, this isn't a bad position, but what happens when we press is the elbows flare, but the bar doesn't move. The bar comes pretty much back up in the same path. What we want to see is as the elbows flare, we want that bar to come back and then up like that. So we can see the bar comes up and then back. It goes straight up and then back at the top. And again, we come down, we touch, we go straight up and then back. So we're kind of doing this in the reverse order. I think the biggest thing that needs work is your bar path. Once you've touched the chest, back over your shoulders and then straight up. And that looked a little bit better on that last rep. And I think that's by virtue of you needing to press it like that in order to finish the set. So that would be what I would focus on is that bar path. And I think that'll go a long ways for you. Our last video, and we're gonna leave this one up here for some constructive crit criticism from the community. This is Nishant from India. He says, recently tried out his one rep max for the deadlift, wants to make sure his form is decent enough for it to be good lift for competitions and in general mechanics too. All right. So we're gonna let this play a few times. Now, <clears throat> it looks like Nishant is a bit of a beginner. And uh, you know, there are probably some, some basic corrections that can be made. So I wanna make sure that everybody who's gonna leave a comment, we want only constructive criticism here. We don't need anybody being a troll in the comments. So go ahead and leave some good advice for our man here. And I will start next video by critiquing this deadlift and giving my own advice on it. Now, as far as I know, I think pretty much every comment that's been on um, our Form Check Fridays has been positive. So let's keep up that trend and let's keep rolling with the good, wonderful community that we're building. So that's gonna be it for me. We're gonna sign off here. Hopefully everybody enjoys your weekends. Stay tuned, we're gonna be doing some videos um, on tattoos and healing tattoos as a lifter this coming week. So we're really excited for those and uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a like if you like it. And if you like this style of content, make sure to tune in every Friday for our live Twitch stream. You can head over to twitch.tv slash Calgary Barbell. We do live form checks every week. So make sure to tune in for that. All right, take care. Have a good weekend. Bye everybody. Thank you.